You know, it was just a normal Monday morning. I woke up with a smile on my face, ready to start the brand new day. Checked my phone and saw that, hey, the Canadian Taco just mentioned me in a post on Twitter. Oh man, I thought to myself, this must be good. Let me see what it's about. No, 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 please, no. No, no, no! Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Bramble Gaming, the home of the gaming, and I'm not in a very good mood right now. One game wasn't enough, huh? No, no, hang on, scratch that. One game, two DLC packs, and one deluxe edition wasn't even enough for y'all, huh? I guess it wasn't, because now Ryan's getting a new game. That's right, a whole second new game on the Nintendo Switch. Man, I mean, at this point, you might as well just give Jake Paul a video game. You might as well give Ninja his own game. Oh, hang on, hang on, I got it. I know, I got it, man. You put Jojo Siwa in the jungle and call that crap Jojo's Jungle Joyride. Because why not, am I right? So anyways, this new extraordinary title from Outright Games is gonna be coming out March 4th of next year. So soon already! And do you remember how Race with Ryan was blatantly ripping off of Mario Kart 8 with half of the charm and none of the fun? Well, for this new game, the developers decided to do the exact same thing. Except this time they took new Super Mario Bros. U and put a fresh new coat of slime and mud over it, making the completely new and original title Ryan's Rescue Squad. Ryan's friends have been captured by the dark and evil Bowser, oh, I'm sorry, I mean Dark Ryan, and to save them you gotta run around the emptiest levels I've ever seen, hitting Lego blocks and collecting shine sprites. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! This new game looks easily as lame, if not lamer, than Race with Ryan, and I didn't even think that was possible. The animations are non-existent, the visuals are basic as heck, and there's absolutely no signs of anything fun here. I mean, even in the original Race with Ryan trailers, you had a game that at least graphically looked good, but this new trailer for the new game doesn't even try to do that. It just looks bad. If you gave me two months, I guarantee you I could make the exact same thing with my friends in Game Maker Studio, and it end up even better than this actual game. And here's the thing, right? They put Race with Ryan at an obscene price of $40, so you know they're going to do the exact same thing with this new one just to suck as much money out of parents' pockets as they can. Dude, no, 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 no. This needs to stop, okay? One was enough. I could tolerate one. But two, I'm at my limit. No, I'm not even at my limit. I'm past my limit. As the home of the gaming, I am disgusted by these vile, horrendous, half-baked games that only exist to make money off of the Ryan's World brand. It terrifies me, knowing that there is a whole new generation of gamers being raised on such low quality games as these, and I fear for the future of the game industry when these own kids grow up to make their own games inspired by their nostalgic childhood classics of Race with Ryan and Ryan's Rescue Squad. We need to put an end to this once and for all. If this doesn't stop now, Ryan's gonna keep getting new games every single year, making people unknowingly waste their hard-earned cash on something that will never bring their kids any joy or any happiness. We're on a dark spiral here, gamers, and we can put an end to this now. Go to Twitter, go to Reddit, write to the Nintendo support team, let everyone know. We gotta stop the Ryan revolution. In the meantime, I'm gonna go finish my favorite game which is called DC Superhero Girls Teen Power for the Nintendo Switch Lite OLED Switch Edition HD Plus.